cool, crisp e Hang on. On the e island of Thodor. Many things had changed. The Skarloey Railway had received a new engine. Well, an old friend engine, anyway. And it was Proteus. Lady and Liz were on the standard gauge railway. But there was one more engine that was on the railway now, and he wouldn't be leaving at all. And that was 87546. Lady had come to the railway to see her friends again. She wouldn't always be around, but she would be around for a while and then leave and come back soon. Liz could be on the railway, but she really kept to herself. But soon, she revealed a secret to all the other engines. That, w that was the next day. Everyone heard it. But that's a, that's for another day. Anyway, meanwhile, many trains were ha happening, and visitors were arriving on Sodor. Alfred had left on January the first, two thousand eighteen, and many things had not been happening too badly. But this story is about a special train that would be taken um, for winter. There was a milk train, and it was known as Chidmith's Milks. It was one of the, the most favorited. But anyway, this train was usually taken by our very own Thomas the Tank Engine. But one day, Thomas had to go do other trains, and he wasn't available. And, well, this was unfortunate. James had to take it. He was not happy at all. <laughs> what are you looking at? Anyway, it, it, it started off with James having an extra box car at the back, which was loaded with jugs. The others were just, you know, mook, and were very stable. But James biffed and bashed the car a lot. And then inside the box car, it shook and shaked. This train didn't need a brake fan, and the box car's car was used. And the other van... Anyway, James had been taking the train and, and the milk jugs at the back inside the boxcar were beginning to shake. Hi, Skiff. Good evening, James. James, we're nice. You don't have to bump us. Yes, I do. James biffed and bashed the cars all the way to Marin Station. The milk train wasn't... I don't think it was on the branch lines. The milk train did go near Percy's mail route. And anyway, they arrived at Marin, where they began to take out some jugs of milk. Oi! Jerry, could you come here for a moment? He came and looked. You stupid engine, said James's driver. The jugs is at the back of the box car. Half of them have tipped over. So they've been unloaded, but n nothing wrong has happened so far. So we've left a few jugs in there, but that are half loaded. The cracked ones are have been taken out. But milk is all over 
like the floor of the box car. Ugh, whatever. Oh, sorry, driver. With James continuing on, the guard, the, well, I guess the station master blew his whistle. The truck's floor, the, the floor of the truck was le- still had milk and was leaving a trail all the way down the line. It soon stopped, but it had already gone past Percy's mail run. And since it was winter, even though it's January, winter still will continue on from December. It'll be very cold from December 22nd to January and February until March. Anyway, the milk had frozen, and now it was problematic. Percy was passing a signal box the next day, but the fr- points were frozen, and Percy tried to break, but he couldn't. It was very slippery. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Said Percy. He couldn't stop. Save me! Somebody help! Percy stopped as he smashed into a twist siding. Not too big. As he smashed into a pair of buffers. This was not well accepted as mail spilled out and got all over the snow and immediately became wet. This was very bad and the people complained in the villages about this as it was hard to read the ink. And the next day Sir Topham had called a meeting. Percy and James were called to have a conversation. And with that, Sir Topham Hatt came in. Percy, explain. The tracks were slippery, sir. When they examined, examined what was on the rail and tried melting it, it was very sticky. They said it was like... Then Percy stared at James. Milk. Well, James... Do you have anything to say? I'm sorry for bashing the cars and causing the milk trucks to spill, which caused the mail to get damaged, and I apologize for making the milk leak and making many homes get without their full order of milk. I am sorry, sir. Good. Now then, I don't know what I should do. Maybe he will be put on goods duties for a week. But, sir, no buts. You already caused these problems. And no buts except yours pulling a goods train. Got that? Yes, sir. Good. I have to go now. Goodbye. And through top of that, walked away. Percy stared at James. What? I just can't believe you. Sometimes, James, you never give a good chance, and you always cause problems. Percy puffed away, leaving James with a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Liz. How are you, Edward? I need to tell you something. Oh, sure. Is anyone else around? No, I'm alone for now. Good. It's very private. You see, Percy and... You didn't get into a fight, did you? No, it's just... Percy and... And... Come on, come on, you can say it. I promise I won't tell anyone. Have you ever? Are there any brothers on this railway? Well, there's Mighty Mac, Bill, Ben, Donald, Douglas, Baron, Boak, or kind of brothers. They, they always stick with each other. Henry and Gordon, me and James are brothers, and well, many of the trucks are brothers. Now, are there any brothers and? that are sisters on this railway? I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. 
No, I don't think so. Well, there's, I know one pair that is. Who? Percy and I are brother and sister. <laughs>